over the past couple months, I have grown more cynical towards modern day films. They just don't have enough emotion and intensity. Except, of course, action films. We don't really like those. But City of God has proven an anomaly to that. And this is why. The opening scene of the City of God is shocking. The first thing you see is knives being sharpened, but music in the background comforts and images of celebrative moods blend in. They reveal colors, festive activities, beer, drinking, and people gather around in a party-like setting. Um, so far we don't know these, who these people are yet, but it's a foreshadowing of what's going to happen at the end of the movie. And we are introduced, we are confronted with the situation and an unknown story until we meet the protagonist. Now the protagonist is Rocket, a boy of about maybe 16 years old who at the time of that festivity defends a chicken who has run away from this festivity from being skinned um, and all of a sudden he's confronted with a scary situation. But anyways, the chicken is not the issue. It is not the main character, Rocket is. But it shows, it symbolizes his internal struggle. He's trapped between two impending forces, the police and the gangs. And um, so he's literally in between both at the situation. He's surrounded by boys, young men with guns um, about to shoot him and police behind him. So he's in the middle um, with this chicken in a vulnerable state. And um, this is when the movie begins. We realize a reality um, amidst this celebratory mood. Um, and his first words are, if you run away, they get you. And if you stay, they get you too. He's speaking Portuguese, so we can assume that this is Brazil um, in a slum. Probably outside of Rio de Janeiro. So, I feel like this is the theme of the movie. Implicit meaning! And why it's, you know, it's very iconic beginning to start with uh, internal narration and kind of like a thesis or a theme. Obviously, he's dealt with hardship. Obviously, he learned something and obviously there was a story before this so this is not this is not the beginning this is the end and so he leads into the rest of his life how he got there how we got in that situation and how he's grown from that another symbol of this movie is rocket's camera he sees the world through a camera image so there's effects that go with this as well fernando mireles the director of this film used this very often and this includes stop motion image and split screen to emulate the effects of a camera um, and this really is a transition to all the stories that he tells about every person. It almost symbolizes the different pers perspectives that people have in the film. Um, for example, him take, telling Little Z's story and the various drug tellers around him, humanizing them in some aspects. Overall, I just really like the characters in this film. You just get very attached uh, to Rocket and um, his other friends. Uh, and you see everybody's individual story from some perspective, even if it's not Rocket's. Uh, and I think that's really important for a movie to have, to feel attached. So really, we're trying to achieve empathy with watching this film to see that even drug dealers um, with, you know, violent stories, um, how that originated. Uh, maybe they had some bad incident in their life, maybe their brother was killed, maybe their dad was killed, but either way, they're in the same situation and they want to get out somehow, they want to gain power. And unfortunately, that leads to a lot of tragic things. So I recommend this movie any day. I give it two thumbs up, maybe three, if I had three thumbs.